Hi, I'm Bill, and today I'm going to show you how to avoid bottle jams in your soda machine. Happy Vending. So welcome back to Happy Vending. If you have a uh, soda machine, like this stack machine, it's a Merlin 4, and you're having bottle jam issues, the first thing you want to check is that you're loading the bottles properly into the machine. Now most royal machines like this have six columns in the front and then six columns in the back. And when you're loading bottles, the products in the front columns, you want the cap of the bottle to go toward you. And then the bottles in the back column, the caps should aim toward the back of the machine. And the reason for that is you don't want the caps of the bottle hanging up on the center part of the machine. It, it creates uh, bottles that tilt like this, and that leads to jams. Now, if you have a machine that doesn't have front and back columns, like a Dixie Narco 501E, then all the bottles are going to be in one direction. And they usually, in those machines, the caps of the bottles go toward the back. And if they're too deep, the two bottles are right next to each other with the caps going to the back like this. Something else to keep in mind if you're having issues is making sure you have the proper shims in the machine. Now, if you have 16 ounce bottles like these guys, and you have a Merlin 4 like this, there is a shim that goes in this machine so that the bottles don't get jammed in the rotor. And it's this right here. See this? This little piece fits in there. This little piece is needed for bottles that are the diameter of these 16 ounce bottles. And if you don't have this in there, multiple bottles will get jammed in the rotor and then it will do usually double vents on you. If you have 20 ounce bottles, this piece is not necessary. Now, if you have a Dixie Narco machine, there are separate shims for 20 ounce bottles and separate shims for cans. And the can shims also work for these 16 ounce bottles. Once again, make sure you have the proper shims in the machine. Something else to consider is if the bottles are too squishy for vending. These consumer water bottles, these 16 ounce water bottles, whether they're Dasani or uh, Aquafina, sometimes they don't vend very well because the plastic is so thin and if you're trying to vend bottles like this, what you might have to do is just not stack them real high up. I usually have them in two columns and, and don't go more than halfway up on the machine. If it's a really squishy bottle, I don't even go up that high. The way to avoid this is to get the 20 ounce vending water bottles that the bottlers provide. They have a firm plastic shell and they typically don't um, jam like these could possibly jam. And the final thing to keep in mind if you're using one of these Royal machines with the wider columns, they have what are called friction sheets in them which prevent bottles from bridging. When a bottle bridges, it gets stuck like this in the column where the two bottles create a bridge and then they don't fall down in the machine. So Royal has um, installed these friction sheets. They're basically little stickers that are on the sides of the columns. But over time, they start to uh, dry out and then the tops start coming down and that's when you want to look into replacing them like these and i'm going to replace the ones in uh, some of these ones in this column at least on the left hand side where they're really where they're really dried out you can buy them from vending companies or direct from royal they're about a dollar a sheet they're not that expensive if you have cans in the column you don't really need to even have them in there you can just take them out because cans typically don't bridge but if you're using bottles in these machines you're going to want to make sure your friction sheets are good to get them out of there like old ones like this just simply pull it off like so see how nasty that looks and then before you put your new one in, this is what the new ones look like. They're just basically stickers made by 3M. They're a plastic that is smooth. You don't want to put oil in a machine. Like, don't spray WD-40 in there. 
because people don't want their bottles, their drinks coming out with some type of grease on them. So my, my suggestion is only using something like this that's meant to go in the vending machine. To clean it, I use just some rubbing alcohol on a clean rag, just pour it on there. And then you wipe down where that sticker was to get as much of that residue of the old sticker off of there before you try to stick the new one on. All right, let's rip the other one out. Let's clean that. The rubbing alcohol dries pretty quickly. So it won't be long before you can just put your new friction sheets on there. The ones on the right are starting to dry out, but they're not too bad right now. The tops are fine, so I'm gonna leave them go. I'm just gonna replace those two that were on the left. We just peel this off and just try to line it right up where the old one was. You wanna get it over that metal lip there. Push it down top in good there we go that's one of them let me do the second one pushed in there good it looks good we got two new friction sheets and that should prevent the bottles from bridging in there Something else too you want to watch is make sure your front product stop and your back product stops are set properly for the length of the bottle. You don't want too much play in your columns. That can lead to bottle jams as well. Hopefully this helps you prevent some bottle jams in your machine and as always, happy vending. Happy vending.